Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I have an unpackaging and it's an Amazon one again. Um, another pack of two diamond paintings. Um, they do seem to like doing them in twos. And again, a special offer using a Vipon coupon. Um, I have had to open it because I do get quite a bit from uh, Amazon that are other things as well. And Hubby does like to open packages as well. So uh, yeah, I have had a quick look. Uh, these are from Baird Sunshine Shop on uh, Amazon, which I thought was quite a nice name. Baird Sunshine. Hey, like that one. And they should have been £6.99. And with my coupon, I got them for £3.34. So what's that? About £1.75-ish, £1.80-ish each, which, uh, yeah. Can't say no to that, can you? So let's get into this package and have a look at the two paintings we've got. Again, lots of plastic. Okay, have we got any ends that we can open on these? Oh yes, I can find the ends on these. Sometimes I can never find the ends. Little horrors. Okay, so this is canvas number one, and they are themed to go together. Uh, 30 by 40 canvases, which is amazing for the price. Okay, we've got your grey uh, gray and blue package in there. All right. Oh, got a huge bit of wax there. Oh, this is a step up from a basic toolkit. So we've got the, uh, is that a three placer? Let me take it out. Three or a four. Let me have a look. Let me have a look at my little card. Oop! <laughs> It's not any place and it's thrown itself onto the floor. So no, I don't want to work today and throwing itself off the desk. Let's have a look. Is that a three or a four? That is actually a four placer and it's one of the new thinner ones. So that's good. We have a huge chunk of wax there. And it's that about five, about six or seven little uh, Grip seal bags, so one up from a basic toolkit, so that's nice. Okay, pop that back over there. And this is your canvas, it's a lovely lit lake scene. And just bear with me. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> right, so yep, poured glue, uh, 20 colours. We've got a key code top and bottom there. Let's just Straighten this plastic and the canvas out a little bit. Uh, yeah, I like poured glue. And it can add to my 30 by 40 canvas collection that I seem to be getting. Um, yeah, uh, seems to be my favourite size at the minute. It's a round drill, but to be honest, the ones that are quick to do take me about a week, sometimes less, depending on how much I diamond paint, but yeah. That's sort of my favourite size to do at the moment. Right, let's measure this one. Okay, so it is usually the canvas that is the 30 by 40. So yeah, that's 30. So the actual drill field is 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches. And so the drill field this way is 30. 24 and a half centimetres which is 13 and a half inches so you do lose about three centimetres roughly each um, edge but uh, yeah I think that's really pretty it's like you've got your moon and your trees there and like your sun set in the background the sun's going down the moon's come up and then you've got your reflection in the water and I think for a 30 by 40 you know, there's quite a bit of detail. I mean, the trees, you know, do stand out. It does look okay. That's the little thumbnail there, if you can see that. But I think with the yeah, actual picture, you can see it. The key code, it seems to be all capital letters, which is great. Oh, no, we've got one symbol there. But uh, nothing to uh, cause any concerns there, I don't think. It all looks pretty... Uh, clear on the canvas there is a lot of confetti down here and confetti is where you've got a lot of different colors 
in one place which means you're going to be changing out your colours in your tray quite a bit um, but I don't mind that I quite like um, doing confetti oh did I say that out loud goodness me yeah what I tend to do is do a square at a time and I just start with um, number one and work my way through to 20 and then once I've done that square I start on the next one and work my way one through to 20 on your colours and uh, yeah do it that way um, I do sometimes particularly if it's say an image in the middle and it's a lot of background say a lot of white or a lot of black background I will quite often do the whole of the background first and then do the middle image uh, at the end but uh, on this one I will just do it in squares it tends to work quicker if you try doing it a colour at a time I tend to find I miss ones and then it can take me half an hour <laughs> to an hour at the end then having to get out the pots with the little extra ones that I've got missing so it doesn't make it any quicker um, in fact it's a bit more frustrating you know and then I have to hold the canvas up to the light and see where the ones are that are missing because I can't always see them right drills we've got dmc codes on the canvas but there's none on the packaging the packaging just has the canvas number on there so if you set your drills get separated from your canvas you can uh, tell and it is on every single packet so if you've say cut a packet off and you think oh what does this belong to you have got your canvas number there okay so oops. we have like a very deep maroony brown color and um, that's possibly 310 is it yeah that's 310 a couple of greys and um, okay. i think that's like caramac chocolate color if you remember caramac peach gray lots of different shades of blue these will all be sky and the reflection and um, is that one a gray or a blue that's a blue like a very dark gray blue shall we say browns pinks oh nice rose pink there and then all your blues for your sky as well and then a lovely aqua color at the end there so they're great these paintings um nice as quick projects nice for a beginner and as i say nice for uh, someone like me that just at the moment needs something that uh, is achievable and enjoyable and just takes me to my happy place and that looks quite a happy place actually on that painting just to be stood on this shore here and looking out into that reflection and then looking at the back of you at that moon i'd quite like to be stood there okay let's have a look at the next one oops where's the yeah there it is let's find these oh, these are the softer plastic as well so they're not making that horrible scratchy noise that nails down a black body okay big splotch of pink there i think this one is another scene as well let me just move that one out the way a moment okay and we'll open it up this way oh right so this one is like a tropical beach scene very nice so again same packaging so consistency with packaging and same toolkit with uh, yeah you just your little extras there your four placer and your little strip seal bags okay and this is very nice i like the pink colors it's got a hot pink in it and aqua two of my favorite colors i don't like the hot pink okay let's just see if we can straighten this out a minute it looks like it's the same size as the other one so i'm not going to measure it will be like your 35 by 25. okay and we have the key cover oh, get a hold of it at both sides so top and bottom which is great if you're working you know on one side or the other you can uh, have a quick flick through as so i tend to um put my drill well i tend to copy this and put this onto my pops so that I've always got um, my number and my symbol already on the pops so I don't always use the key codes but it's handy there 
um, so not but brilliant eyesight. Sorry, I know I go on about it. <laughs> I think I'm amazed that I can actually still craft with not brilliant eyesight. Um, so yeah, uh, if I can't quite read what I've got on the pot or I've smudged it because you know I, I do use an inkjet printer to do it, then I can refer to my key code as well. So oh, that looks like a pair of lips there, or is that just me? <laughs> Pink lipstick with blue teeth. <laughs> but yeah, we've got all our palm trees and the little sun in the background there. That's the little thumbnail of it. If you can see that. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty picture. Nice colours, nice happy colours. I think um, when I've been working on dogs and particularly Scotty dogs that are all darker colours, then it's quite nice. It always makes me smile, makes me happy when I go on to doing a painting that's got lots of nice bright colours. Uh, yep, that key code all looks quite uh, good. Looks nice capital letters, nice and clear. And again, the drill field looks really, really good. Can't say I've got any complaints with this one. And we'll just have a quick look at the drills. So again, um, DMC codes on the canvas, but uh, none on the drills, but you have got your canvas number on both there, so that's good. Okay, so let's have a look. Got lots of bright colours in this one, I like this one. So we've got like a burgundy colour there, like a very deep red wine, very nice. Uh, your purple, grey, like a lilac colour, a pumpkin orange. Grey. Can you tell I'm thinking about drills and chills? Pumpkin orange. Uh, aqua colour. And purple. Pink. Hot pink. Hot pink. Look at all these pinks. Wow. They're going to shade so well, those three colours. It's quite strange, actually. They look quite um, similar colours, but uh, in real life, they're actually very, very different. But on camera, they seem to be looking pretty similar. Mm. And your blues to your sky. <gasps> Look at that pink, that's wonderful. Love that one, love that one. And that one is, let me have a look. That will be 939, very deep blue. And like a salmony pink colour, and a pale green, and then a sandy colour. I presume that one will just be the moon at the end. Yes, it's an off white, sandy, creamy colour. Okay. And then we've got two extra colours there as well, look. Got another purple and another pink. So that's your number 21 and your 22. Yeah. Okay. So let's get these labelled up so that I know where they are. And they will go in my 30 by 40 uh, poured glue canvas um, folder. And then they will also go in my... Uh, the drills will go... Where's my pen gone? Drills will go in my 30 by 40 storage box. So we are, I'm going to call that one tropical. And I'm going to put the canvas number on it. One, one, Y. Sorry, Y, Y. Can't even read now. Y, Y, one twenty, And it's a round. And it's a 30 by 40. I'll fill the other details out later. And then we've got Moon Lake, 30 by 40. And we'll put that on as well. That one was YY119. Excuse my writing. I know it looks like a spider's crawled across the page. Moon Lake, 30 by 40. And then I just need two little bags. These are card bags left over from my card making days. Just little cellophane bags they are. Um, it was, I used to keep my uh, A5 size cards in them. And they're just handy for drills. Okay, for smaller kits. I wouldn't use bigger kits with them, so that's moon lake one goes on there these labels are from rebecca for kids at 147 um, and add more zest.com right 
as you can probably see, the videos jumped quite a lot. Um, I went downstairs because I got an Amazon delivery. Um, it rang the bell and by the time I got there, it squished my package and put it through the letterbox. I do believe this is another diamond painting um, just by squidging it at this corner, which is probably a good job because squidging a box to put through a letterbox is possibly not a good idea. But anyway, hey-ho. Um, and then I carried on filming. Honey, I wasn't filming. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd actually not turned to record on. So I will try and back. Oh, I just knew it was going to be one of those days. I stabbed myself with those extra sharp tweezers this morning. And uh, I just thought I shouldn't have got out of bed this morning. <laughs> okay. Um, so where I'd got up to before I realised <laughs> that I wasn't recording was the fact that I put um, labels on my packaging. Um, these are from 4Kids, uh, sorry, Admore Zest, 4Kids at 147. If you look on admorezest.com, uh, Rebecca and Megan have designed these labels that go on your canvases. Um, you put one on your canvas, one on your drills if you keep them separate and it just ties them all together. So let me just put this on here as well. And uh, So this is a strange video. This is a different video. This is um, rather than a, a Lizzie's How Not To Diamond Paint uh, 101, this is Lizzie's How Not To Do YouTube Videos. <laughs> Lesson number 306. <laughs> so I've got my uh, labels done and my bag stack canvas there. And then back to the moon. Okay. And this is definitely, check I've got the right one. Uh, moon Lake, Moon Lake, yep. Yeah. And we've got the same number on it as well. We put those girls in this bag. Okay, so that's that one. So that's the two um, all previewed and looked at. Uh, sorry, this video has ended up a little bit strange and back to front. <laughs> but hopefully you've seen everything you, you needed to and you've enjoyed looking at these canvases with me. Um, if you have, if you just give me a quick like, uh, just press the little button down here, the little thumbs up. And if you want to come back and uh, see what I get up to next. <laughs> And if you press subscribe and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next video comes along. But thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.